Hey, and welcome back to another edition of Orly Time with Jax. This week, I'm gonna talk about the joys of lemon. I know I've talked about it before, but probably not in the DIY sense like I'm going to in this video. Now, of course, if you have questions about lemon oil or need to get some, feel free to reach out to me for some questions. Definitely talk to the person who sent you here to watch this video um, to get your oils. And if you don't have a person that can get you oils, then I can be your oil lady for sure, right? Um, I'm gonna talk about DIY hacks with lemon essential oil, cold pressed from the peel, right? This oil is a handy dandy oil to have in your arsenal of oils, right? If we're going to start this whole thing of ditching and switching, we need to do it effectively, right? And we'd like to do it without spending a ton of money on it. Let's not break the bank trying to do chemical free ditch and switch in our homes. We don't have to, right? You just don't have to. So. I'm gonna get you guys to comment in the comments below your favorite uses and DIY hacks for lemon because knowledge is power. If you know something, let's share it, right? Why not? The stronger we are is because of knowledge and what we can share and pass on to our fellow people, right? We're all over the world in different places. So let's share our knowledge. That's what this YouTube channel is for. Okay, so now I'm gonna go on to a lemon oil. You've smelt it before, you've probably used it to get off um, stickers and sticky glue residue, right? In the past, I've, I've shown videos like that. I know a lot of other oilers have shown videos of how effective that works, right? And replaces products that you normally would use or chemically based to remove uh, sticky, gooey clumps of glue mess or stickers on the bottom of glassware, that kind of thing, right? So there's other things that you can do with lemon oil. Did you know that it gets gum out of hair? We're just going into fall and uh, kids are back in school. Someone's gonna end up with gum in their hair. It happens, either by themselves or a friend or however it happens, it happens, right? So use your lemon oil, crack that baby out, get it right on there, it's not gonna hurt your hair and that gum will slide right out, right? So there you go. <laughs> you might be going, wow, I didn't know that. And uh, you're gonna be very thankful you did. Um, if, and I did this when I was a kid, um, you get crayons on your wall. Magically appears with little stick men and other kinds of fun drawings on your wall. You can use lemon oil to remove that. Yeah, get your lemon oil out, get it on a cloth, on um, a damp cloth, and let's get the crayons off the wall with lemon oil and not a chemical product. <laughs> I did do that as a kid um, at my neighbor's house and his mom made us and my neighbor uh, clean it off. And it took a very long time with soap and water. So we didn't have or the knowledge of lemon oil when I was a kid. At least it's probably been, I mean, out forever, but uh, yeah, we didn't know about that. So yeah, there you go, lemon oil. Um, put two drops in your dishwasher, right? It's gonna help A, clean the dishwasher and everything smells beautiful, right? It smells like lemon, like who doesn't like lemon? If you don't like lemon, no offense, but lemon, uh, generally speaking, is a safe smell to have around. Okay, we're also gonna use lemon in our diffusers, right? To get that happy, cheery smell. In fact, if you blend it with a bit of peppermint, you'll be cognitively awake and you'll feel good, especially for those three o'clock doldrums. Now they may come because we're getting up a little bit earlier now with the kids and routines and whatnot. You may get the doldrums between one and two p.m. in the afternoon. So diffuse lemon, add a bit of pep peppermint to it and whew, hello, back to normal, happy self, right? because you could get a little bit grumpy getting back into a routine. So I highly recommend that. Now there's other things that we can do with lemon, such as a fridge deodorizer, right? Take your box of baking soda, if you've been using that in your fridge to help deodorize it, right? And keep things so that they don't get icky smelling. Um, add about 10 drops of lemon oil to that box of baking soda and put that in your fridge. You will notice a difference. It actually smells pretty good. And again, it's a natural product mixing with the baking soda, right? So other things that we can do with lemon. One is be a cleansing mask for your face. Yeah, did you know we could do that? You can. So we're gonna take one teaspoon of coconut oil, one teaspoon of honey, and one drop of lemon essential oil and apply that to our face at night. Leave it on for about 10 to 15 minutes. This is gonna be your mask, right? And then rinse it off before bed because otherwise it's a very sticky mess and your hair will stick to it. Don't fall asleep with that thing on. 
right? So 10 to 15 minutes, rinse it off and your face will thank you. Okay, other things that we can do is put five drops. If you have one of those disposals in your sink, you know, they can get kind of smelling, right? Put five drops of lemon down there and give that a swirl in your disposal unit and you'll find that it actually helps with the skanky skanky smells because we don't need that permeating through our kitchens, do we? No. So use your lemon oil. That's how you're gonna get that thing clean. It's smelling clean. And you know, regular maintenance of that is also a good idea. <laughs> okay, another thing you can do is put lemon on a cotton ball, one to two drops, and either stick it to the top of your um, trash bin that you have in the kitchen, um, or hide it somewhere in the bottom of the bin, if you like, uh, and that'll help your garbage from smelling up as we start getting into winter and we tend to have the windows closed a lot more often. Uh, these things will come into play and you're gonna be very thankful that you know this little tip. <laughs> it's true. So another thing you can do um, to get rid of grease and grime that's in your kitchen is add about one to two drops to a cloth and wipe away that grease with the lemon oil. Like it's really effective for grease cutting. It's pretty surprising. And also again, we have that nice smell. So now you're not so upset when you're cleaning your stovetop or your microwave right? Uh, just use your lemon oil. You can put on a damp rag, one to two drops and clean away, right? Another thing you can do is um, add two drops of the Thieves liquid dish soap, right? To the couple of drops of lemon on your damp wet cloth and you can clean your greasy pans and pots with it, right? Another chemical free way to cut through grease and grime and it's not going to affect your family or be left on as a residue, a chemical residue on your cooking surfaces and pots and pans that you're using. And another thing I have for you is one to two drops on a damp rag will actually get fingerprints off your stainless steel appliances. You know, when the kids come home and they're like, I'm hungry, it's right after school and they got their fingers all over your stainless steel appliances, um, which uh, that's what I have and it's uh, very messy. One to two drops on a damp cloth will get rid of those fingerprints. So there you go. There's some really cool uses for lemon oil. If you haven't thought about it, now you know. If you have a use for lemon oil that you'd love to share, please put it in the comments below. Let's share all of our DIY tips with each other. And of course, if you don't have lemon oil, you need to get some, please go to the person who sent you here or you can ask me. I will hook you up with some lemon oil and uh, get you started on your ditch and switch and your DIYs that are fun and save you money. Right, okay? Um, my website's gonna be right here. It's probably already posted right there. And uh, I'm happy to talk with you. My information will be in the comments below. And of course, if you like what I'm doing, please subscribe and hit the like button. And also, uh, smash that bell. You see that little bell icon? What that means is you'll just get notified when I drop another video. And of course, I always take your tips and tricks and uh, if you want a video to be covered by me, I'm happy to do it for you. Just put it uh, as a suggestion, either in the comments below or get a hold of me in my um, email down below in the comments here. All right, until next time, stay safe and happy oiling.